able to make healthier decisions and I hope by next year I will lose at least I'd say 50 to 50 pounds this is officially the first workout I did of my transformation it is only the second day but I had to say I almost give up I felt like I just wanted to just give up like I would I, I, at one point I was like I'd rather be fat I don't care but it wasn't about um, over the summer it's just a, not only a transformation physically but also internally I'm happy I'm I'm the happiest person I have ever been in such a very long time and I did it all on my own, and I don't know why I'm getting very sentimental. I guess because if you're such a very heavy person, your whole entire life, and just seeing the numbers increase um, time and time, um, you you actually get very depressed, and you feel like there's no hope. Um, and you just at once in your life want to feel pretty and want to feel good about yourself. Um, that's how I feel. I feel very happy. I feel very accomplished. I feel very successful. In the long run, it's a lot of hard work, but I am very happy where, with what I am today and what I'm going to be in the future. What a miraculous year this has been. Um, I started the year off having a New Year's resolution to lose 50 pounds. I've never ever felt this way. I never did and it's a great feeling and I can't wait for many more accomplishments that I'm going to succeed in so I'm gonna end the mm -mm. Mm -mm. I haven't been doing so well I think I might have gained a couple pounds sadly I'm I mean at least I reached my goal at 50 right I just want to maintain that it's been so hard like when you're stressed out especially when you have finals you just don't have time to just exercise well, well, one thing that I'm actually um, happy about is um, the fact that I haven't given up and the fact that I'm like staying focused through everything as well as um, my ability to just keep pushing forward and it's just been miraculous my hair